Hey guys, it's Bro Uwak, and I got early access to Season 13, and just a bit ago, I looked at the whole entire Season 13 Battle Pass, but today, we're gonna be looking at all of the hero changes that's gonna be coming out, which releases tomorrow. Now, we have some big changes, we have some small changes, but we have one massive rework to one hero that everyone has been complaining about recently, which is Sombra. Now, I will be saving the Sombra changes for last, just because there's so many to go over, but beginning this video, I want to look at two changes that are so simple, but so massive the first change is that you're now able to individually increase or decrease your teammates mic volume okay maybe that's only big to me but i know all my teammates gonna be so happy to decrease my loud volume but the actual change that isn't even a hero change but just a change to the ui is whenever you swap heroes your new hero selection will be hidden on your enemy scoreboard for fifth seconds it's one of those simple changes that like on paper seems like it will work but in execution will it actually well we'll just have to see counter swapping will still be a thing in overwatch 2 will never go away but at least here people won't be camping in their spawn to see what people swap to and then swap just to counter that swap but finally getting into the individual hero changes first we're going to be looking at all of the tanks which are going to include malga ramatra and reinhardt now for malga they're actually going to be buffing it what wait what they're, they're gonna be buffing Malga? Yep, looks like it. They're gonna be increasing the fire damage from his incinerary chain gun over time, increasing the time from three seconds to four seconds. Ramatra is also joining in on the fun with this pummel ability buff, or change should I say, because his pummel ability no longer pierces barriers, but it does do 2.5 more damage to barriers. If Reinhardt's gonna be a popular tank to play in season 13, Ramatra is gonna be the popular counter to try to bring him down. But Reinhardt might not be the most favorable tank to play in season 13 because he's going to be getting one nerf just one small nerf to his barrier field where they're going to be decreasing the health from 1600 to now 1500 with that nerf on top of the ramatra buff reinhardt he might be suffering from counter watch in season 13 even with the 15 second ui change but finally moving on to the dps heroes that are getting changed in season 13 this is going to include hanzo sojourn and sombra but i'm going to save sombra for after the support changes all right so what do they do to my archer rifle haunt so they buffed it no why 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 my throat already hurts blizzard you can't make me scream more they're buffing his health from 225 to 250 like I, I get it he is the worst dps here right now but wasn't that time glorious it is time in f tier blizzard come on man well, let's see what they did to our favorite canadian railer that sounds weird sorgeon is getting a whole gang of changes two to her rail gun where the energy is no longer going to be stopping at 25 like once you hit that 25 mark it will start to disintegrate past it like to 24 23 so on and so forth however the time at which the rail energy starts to degenerate starts now at 12 seconds where previously it was at seven seconds so while you don't have that added threshold of 25 by the time your energy starts to disintegrate you should have already shot your rail gun but this disruptor shot oh my god this is a huge buff because the damage not only got increased per second from 60 to 80 but 25 percent of the damage that you do with your disruptor shot your electric ball ability will go towards charging your rail gun energy your sniper shot so not only are you doing more damage with a pretty easy ability but you're now charging another aspect about swordsman that is so powerful dude i might be maining swordsman in season 13 but before we look at the somber rework let's look at all of the support changes which includes batiste brigida and for a first time at the beginning of the season juno dps batiste is you're gonna absolutely love this buff because his primary fire recoil got reduced by 30 percent now that might seem like a lot on paper but when you compare it side to side you'll get a better idea of how much 30 percent really is brigida she's gonna be getting a nerf but it's a really small nerf to her repair pad cooldown where they're gonna be increasing the time from five seconds to 5.5 seconds so you have okay so maybe it is a big nerf an increase of 1.5 seconds in total with three repair packs and juno is getting nerfed i i don't like that so what's getting nerfed her medi blaster fall off range is getting reduced from 30 to 50 meters to now 20 to 35 meters i am sad oh but that's not all because her healing per projectile also got reduced from 6.5 heal per bullet to now six healing per bullet i'm extra sad so it looks like really batiste is the only support having fun with this update but we gotta decide is somber gonna be having fun spoiler alert 
No. Everything about Sombra's hero kit is getting changed. While hacking no longer interrupts your stealth as Sombra, you're gonna see why that's not that good of a change later. But the other changes to her hack is that whenever you hack somebody, their ability lockout duration is getting reduced from 1.5 seconds to 1 second. Whenever you EMP somebody, that hack lockout duration is gonna be untouched, but <laughs> Bob is getting his own specific bullet point where whenever you hack Bob, he's only gonna be locked out for 3 seconds in instead of 10. That's massive. Ash Maze, you can now rejoice. Let's move on to her stealth ability, because th this, this is rough. So, your stealth ability is no longer activated by your passive, like it won't automatically happen. It will now be triggered when you use your translocator. But this is the big change here. Whenever you throw your translocator and you go invisible, you will only be invisible for 5 seconds. This is very reminiscent of the old Sombra in Overwatch 1. But a buff that some people People might like is that whenever you do take damage when you're invisible it won't completely bring you out of stealth as Sombra but it will reveal you slightly to the enemy team and also just a reminder in this update whenever you're invisible with Sombra and you hack somebody it won't completely bring you out of stealth but it will reveal you to the enemy team the translocator is getting a very awkward nerf where they're increasing the cooldown from five seconds to seven seconds and I say that's awkward because at maximum you're gonna be invisible with Sombra for five seconds so you have like this two second window where you can't really do anything. Her EMP is getting a massive nerf for the ultimate cost increase by 12%. That's huge. And the final change is actually adding her opportunist passive ability back into her hero kit which increases Sombra's weapon damage whenever you hack a target and that damage is going to increase by 20%. So whenever you hack them and you shoot them or you virus them you get a 20% damage boost. And as an added bonus, you can see critical enemies through walls. So it definitely seems like they're trying to keep the lethality of Sombra intact that we see in Overwatch 2, but trying to also take elements of Overwatch 1 Sombra uh, by not having her just be this invisible backline monster, just really preying on vulnerable targets like a Widowmaker or a Mercy or uh, heroes that can't really defend themselves against an invisible Latina girl. Because, well, now you only have five seconds. If you don't pick a target to try to bully, you're not going to get the true value of Sombra, and I know that's gonna be a whole lot more fair, but I I don't think Sombra mains are really gonna like that because I'm, I'm gonna admit a fun element about Sombra is just camping in the back line and preying on a vulnerable target and attacking them and bullying them. It's satisfying. It's annoying, but it's satisfying. So we're gonna have to see how Sombra holds up in Season 13 along with all these other heroes. I definitely think Ramatra is gonna be a whole lot more favorable of a pick, especially if Reinhardt's on the field. And while I don't like the Juno changes, I will will admit that she was really good at the end of season 12, like one of the must pick support heroes to play, so that'll open up to other support characters like maybe Batiste. So let me know what you think about these hero changes and what you think is going to happen to the meta, and until tomorrow where I'm going to be posting my Overwatch 2 shop skin video, I love you guys, thank you guys for watching more Overwatch 2 videos to come, and bye.